And now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. All right, let's take another look at the storm tracker because while it does look relatively clear as we move into the nighttime, still seeing that moisture move through. So while it might look clear outside right now, just be wary that you could be seeing a few clouds pretty soon, as well as some scattered showers in with that. Although, like I said, not as strong as what we saw a little bit earlier, like yesterday when that thunder came through, of course, involved with that system that also started some fires near income so we were seeing a lot of that thunder yesterday luckily enough a lot less organized today a lot of those scattered showers moving through as you can see down by rockland a little bit more activity as well and as we'll zoom out i'll give you a better look at that another wave moving into our area all the way through from the nevada idaho border right there you can see it start to move up and right through our region. So the next couple of system, or next couple of cells will be right through our area, seeing some scattered storms moving forward into the night. Fortunately enough, though, not as strong as some of the others ones that we have seen throughout the week. Scattered moisture in the Snake River Plain will continue, 57 degrees in Pocatello, 55 in Idaho Falls. So we're still seeing those colder temperatures and during the mornings but for the daytime highs still seeing those 90 degree temperatures center mountains very similar scattered clouds 51 in chalice 53 in salmon and still seeing a little bit colder temperatures out there as well 49 in Ledor, stanley at 39 so still seeing those scattered clouds move in luckily enough a lot of that moisture for them has cleared out so we're only going to stick to clouds as we saw earlier it was kind of more skirting down the snake for plain and not really moving into the central mountains highlands in western wyoming continues to be mostly cloudy seeing a little bit of that moisture very light chance of rain however for the most part you're going to stick to those clouds luckily enough but still seeing cold lows 49 in island park 46 in jackson and even 41 in yellowstone so not quite in the 30s but as we move forward down the week we might be getting even closer as we move into monday though that rain comes back seeing a light chance of rain and while i say light it's very close to that 10 percent chance so expect to see that rain moving through the region however you might not be seeing it right where you're at. 81 in Island Park, 82 in Jackson with that rain moving through. Center mountains are relatively clear tomorrow. Sunny, yet cooler, starting to cool down. We've been in those 90s. They're seeing 88 in Chalice, 87 in Salmon. So a significant cool down from those mid-90s I saw earlier in the week. And then finally, for the Snake River Plain, mostly cloudy conditions, but those temperatures, once again, cooler. We've been seeing upper 90s early on Saturday. Then we saw those mid-90s today, and then we're going to get into those low 90s for tomorrow. So 92 in Pocatello, 91 in Idaho Falls. Some of those 80s up by Rexburg as well, 89 in Rexburg. Pocatello, though, seeing a clear day tomorrow, only seeing those clouds. Unfortunately enough, that rain does come back. Chance of thunderstorms on Tuesday. Temperature warms up a little bit, though, not that much. 95 on Tuesday, 94 on Wednesday, 93 on Thursday, though. So you see that cool down pattern make a return. Friday and Saturday, another system moves through and keeps that temperature down in those low 90s. So 92 going into next weekend, which is a definite improvement over that 98 we saw earlier this weekend. Idaho Falls a little bit cooler, but same basic pattern. That Tuesday system moves in. And stays cool for the most part. 93 on Wednesday, 94 on Thursday are the hottest temperatures. Getting a little bit of a cool streak there on Friday and Saturday, though. Dipping back down into those mid-80s. So it's going to be a very nice weekend next weekend after that rain clears out. But your work week, you see those scattered showers throughout the week. Teton area, a little bit colder. A little bit more rain as well. Monday, Tuesday. And Thursday, Friday, Saturday, seeing two systems move through there. A little bit of a break on Wednesday, but those temperatures stay down. Seeing 82 to 84 throughout the majority of the week. And then finally, for the Central Mountains, once again, they're cooling down significantly for tomorrow, 88. Unfortunately, it does stay clear, so you start to see those temperatures warm up, 94 by Wednesday, and then cooling back down to 90 Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So while we do have more rain moving in, the good thing is it's also bringing those cooler temperatures, so expect to see those low 90s. Good. I'm ready for them.